Coconut palm leaves are a unique and versatile material found throughout the tropics. For weaving, you want to harvest one of the full-sized leaves near the central emerging leaf. A variety of baskets and hats can all be made out of this amazing material. Just one leaf can easily make multiple items. Palm weaving dates back thousands of years. This particular style you see here was perfected by the native Hawaiians and has now spread around the world. It takes some patience to learn, but once you make three or four baskets and understand the formula, it can become a fun and relaxing skill for you to enjoy. It's just nice to know that wherever you go where there are coconut palms, you can always have a basket or a hat to shade you from the sun. You can also use split palm leaves to thatch a shelter. Make sure you lay them so that the cups of the leaflets face down to shed water. Once a leaf has been split down the middle, you can peel fibers in long strings off the central rib to give you a rough lashing material. This type of thatching works great for a shade shelter or if the rain is light. To best shed water though, it's better to weave the leaves into mats. Also, to be effective in shedding water, the roof must be steep, roughly 60 to 70 degrees. A steeper roof will also hold up better in high winds. We can all take a lesson from the native peoples of the Caribbean who built their shelters with steep roofs to withstand hurricanes. To split a leaf, start at the tip. Just grab the two leaflets nearest the end and pull them apart. By splitting a leaf and facing its fronds towards each other, you can weave a large mat. This way you can have a comfortable place to sit or lie down. It also makes for a clean place to prepare food on, which is nice if you're in a rustic situation with no table. This is a great project for beginners because all you are doing is weaving each leaflet over one, under one, over one, under one, etc. until you reach the edge of the mat. The leaflets angling to the right get woven to the right and the leaflets angling to the left get woven to the left. As you work, try not to break the yellow midribs of the leaflets. If they remain unbroken, it is much easier to weave and you will end up with a better finished product. You can use just a portion of a palm leaf and with this same weaving concept wrap food into a neat package that can be placed in a steam pit. To finish, the small ends can be cut and tied into a simple knot. And here is the finished product. It even keeps you cool when you're lying down on it as long as it is still fresh and green. When placed over top of you, it creates a shade shelter. It then doubles as a carrying case for materials that you need to transport. I especially like using it for firewood collection because it keeps it all together and leaves me with one hand free, enabling me to carry other important things. <laughs>